dis-ease. As previously discussed, we are all psychophysical units. That is to say, the mind affects the body, and the body affects the mind. If we're not emotionally feeling well, it's always reflected in our physical body, be it in our posture or actual physical unwellness or dis-ease. We are not at ease or happy, therefore our body's immune system becomes compromised due to an upset of the chemistry and physiology of our body, and we begin to become physically unwell. Conversely, if we feel physically unwell, our moods and emotions are less than happy. The key to all of this is healing the soul. If the root causes contained within the soul, accessed through the mind, are healed, then the mind and then the body are healed. Heal the soul, heal the mind, and heal the body. Change your mind or consciousness and change your life. Simply put, change your mind or your consciousness, and you change your life. We've explained how the mind works, how at the very center and nucleus of the mind and all things is source, eternal wellness and prosperity. This is the very power that has healed and maintained us time and time again. This is the very same power that heals a cut on our hands, even if we do nothing. The regenerative process is Source itself. Source is always expanding, becoming better and better, growing and expanding, larger and larger. We are the individualized expression of Source. We just look human, but are actually God at the center of ourselves, working its way up and out through us, doing only the highest good. This is why we have come into this life, to allow the highest good to work through ourselves. Some say we are here to do service. This is only one example of highest good. We cannot stop the process of something greater than ourselves working through us, at least not for too long. This is why you're listening to this, either to add more knowledge to your life so that you can lead a happier, more prosperous life, another form of highest good. Being happy and prosperous, perhaps even sharing it, is also doing or living highest good. Allowing through the process of the mind treatments, source, to work its way up from the center of our mind and therefore our soul, healing the causes of ill emotional health there, will also result in the healing of our physical body in the process. Healing the soul results in the healing of the mind and the healing of the body. All are one one holistic system intertwined. Healing of the body results in our emotionally feeling better, therefore our emotional state or mind is healed, and therefore our spirit or soul too is healed. Because everything is energy, our deciding to and living a happier, healthier life resonates out and on some level affects others in positive ways. Once you make a conscious decision to free yourself or heal your soul, everything else begins to heal and work as it was meant to, in perfection and abundance. As above, so below. As you breathe, so you exist. Because you exist, you are love, naturally. Love exists through you, as you. Love is the only thing that is real, for it is Source, Mother, Father, God itself. Right here and right now, in this energy, in this existence called love, we are creativity, we are divine wisdom. We allow anything that is not love to simply melt away in the purity of divine existence, divine love. Any darkened forms are now transforming and transmuting into pure source energy, source light, and a healing is occurring right here and right now. A healing for illness, poverty, sadness has no room to exist in this brilliance of diversity of pure love. It can only exist in the shadows, but in 
the brilliance of purity and source light, there are no shadows, no darkness. Therefore, no room or place for anything other than love and light, wellness, wholeness now and forevermore. It is already so in the mind of the universe as the law of creativity is self-perpetuating, even now. We allow this, letting it be so, and so it is, and so it is. Amen, amen, amen.